is Ozzy Griffin doing a quick video out to uh, Hannibal Barker uh, concerning your statement in one of your videos, I've forgotten which one, I'm sorry, where you said that human beings are not calculating machines. Now, I understand where you're coming from when you say that uh, with the libertarians, the anarcho-capitalists, I'm a minarchist myself, that means you can't have government in your life, it just has to have a damn good reason and it has to get the hell out of it uh, as soon as it's uh, done whatever it was supposed to do. I just think that there's an extra dimension to this you may not have considered. Or you may have. I'd like to hear that. Human beings, in my experience uh, studying pop psychology and a few other things, calculate what they don't want to do. Deductive reasoning based on their past experiences. When we have a case of deductive reasoning, when we say, you know, I don't want to do that because it could lead to this, I have seen that done in the past. A lot of that stuff is subconscious. A lot of that stuff is, uh, there was a great example of a guy speaking in atheism and free, th and free thinking concert, uh, uh, concert, uh, conference. Uh, and this fella did a speech about the presentation of uh, atheism, you know, an absence of belief and why you insist on more proof than, um, uh, what do you call it, rhetoric. And I don't get me wrong, it was a great speech. I'll see whether I can dredge up the link. What really stood out to me in that speech was the fact that he talked about how... Uh, he's, he once supported John Forbes Kerry's, uh, 2004 run for the presidency of the United States of America, you know, and I, a lot of my friends, uh, were behind him just because he wasn't George W. Bush. Can you blame him? And he said that he stopped supporting John Forbes Kerry. It didn't mean he supported Bush, of course. It just meant he stopped supporting Kerry's campaign and working for it because of a signature graphic that was in one of the ads. Subconsciously, and this is my own personal opinion on this, subconsciously, he must have been thinking, he, he says in the talk that he knew that the people who um, signed their names like that, uh, he didn't like. Now, to the conscious mind, it's an irrational decision. To the subconscious mind, it's thinking, hmm, I know the traits and attributes of the kinds of people that I've seen in my past who sign their names like that. Usually, those people possess some quality or qualities that would be what are called deal breakers or uh, just would be absolutely so toxic to the idea of one of those individuals um, becoming president that the repercussions would be worse than Bush. And so he stopped supporting him or he looked for another candidate. What I'm saying here is he was making a value judgment and he was weighing up the social impacts, the physical impacts from the social impacts and the ultimate future physical and social impacts from the physical impacts from the social impacts of electing this guy. And all he heard in his head was, I don't like that signature. I feel kind of uneasy, yet I can't put my finger on it. And to him, it seemed like a rash, irrational decision. I don't... I disagree with you, mate. I've got to say, human beings are very, very much calculating machines, yet they do not calculate consciously, and a lot of the data is so fragmented that it's relegated to the, we'll file this on for future reference and put it in part of a mass, massive, larger pattern later file in the subconscious mind. That's my take on it anyway. I hope this has given you some food for thought, and I'll see whether I can dredge up the link for that video. Catch you later, mate.